Devontae Adams uh, now with the, the, the Vegas Raiders, who have the, the longest odds to win that division. And now Aaron Rodgers may have longer odds than he's had in quite some time to do something special at the quarterback position because, I mean, who does he have to throw to? What's, what's your confidence level that they can find a true wide receiver one to get Aaron Rodgers? I mean, there's, there's not one right now for the 2022 season um, that they can get in free agency. Sure, they could sign a Julio Jones, and, and that could be something, perhaps. I'm right in the middle here on this. You look in the draft, there's going to be plenty of guys, but are there going to be guys that can actually make a difference, that can be a 1,300 uh, receiving yard player here in a rookie season where they're going to be drafting? You know, they have to make up for Devontae Adams. They have to make up for the speed lost of Marquez Valdez-Scantling. This isn't something that you can just, like, you know, throw the football out there and, all right, let's go. Um so I am a little bit concerned for Aaron Rodgers. He, who once said that folks are finally coming to Green Bay to play with him. Well, folks are leaving Green Bay right now. And he's not on a year-to-year -year, um, proposition like Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But are you going to lock into a long-term deal in Green Bay without knowing whether he's going to be there two years from now? That's another question and concern that one would have. Could they trade for somebody? Uh, sure. But the, the sort of tradable wide receivers that we all... Uh, are sort of guessing at if it's a Michael Thomas, for example, who his contract restructure makes it very difficult to be traded. Do the Saints really want to trade him to an NFC opponent uh, that's a perennial uh, title team? Well, no, probably not. The same goes for the Seattle Seahawks, whether it's a Tyler Lockett or a DK Metcalf. So uh, those teams with those players that you think may be tradable, um, they're mostly right now, it seems, in the NFC. And I don't know why anyone would want to go help Green Bay Packers and Aaron Rodgers right now. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.